Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. On this video we're going to be taking a look at some pretty awesome behind the scenes photos and even some footage from filming that took place in downtown Calgary for The Last of Us. There's actually signs of a big battle scene coming up that involves the Fedra military which is extremely cool and interesting. For those of you that follow the channel you know that I live in Calgary and I was actually able to go to some of the filming locations yesterday and they even let me record a little bit which is pretty cool. Not all of the photos that we're gonna go through are photos that I took myself. I did take some of these photos from some sources that I have. I'll put the links down below so you can go and check them out. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to look through these, kind of talk through what the locations were like. We'll be right back for more. As always, before we jump into this, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. Again, not all of these photos are photos that I captured myself. I'll put the link to the sources down below so you can go and check them out. But as I go through these photos, you'll get a pretty good understanding based on what I talk about, which ones are photos that I captured myself and which ones aren't. Let's dive in. So. First, we're gonna take a look at a few pictures that was basically some prep work that they were doing, moving all of these military vehicles to a parking lot in downtown Calgary a few days before the filming actually took place. So we can see here, there's a bunch of vehicles. We can see one has the word run on it, which is pretty interesting. Obviously we can see the Fedra signs. So this is a clear indication that the scenes that they're filming related to these vehicles are some sort of a scene with the Fedra from The Last of Us Part 1. And the other thing is a few weeks ago I did talk about some behind the scenes photos of a particular military jeep and we were talking about whether this is the TV adaptation of the factions from The Last of Us but obviously at this point we know that that wasn't the case and that scene that we talked about in the other video was probably also related to a story involving the Fedra. We can see a few more Fedra signs which is pretty cool. Not much to say here, it's obviously just an indication that this is related to the Fedra like I said. We can even see this one, government property, authorized personnel only. This is not real, it's a made up sign obviously. And then we can see a few more shots that someone took from their balcony. We can see the same parking lot where all of the military vehicles are parked. We can see another angle right here, similar one here, and then we have another one here. I'm not gonna spend too much time on these. Most of them are similar. We can see another one here. The next one we have is from a different angle from the opposite direction of what we just saw. And then we have another one of a military truck that they're going to be using in a scene here. And then there's a particular road in downtown Calgary that was blocked off a few days ago. So there was like a RV parked there and also a bus with grime and dirt and vines all over it to make it more apocalyptic. We even have a truck there. So there was a few cars like that parked around that particular road. So we can see another angle of the RV. I did see this RV when I went to set as well, but it was in a completely different spot. Like this whole road was filled with cars, like a traffic jam. So obviously this was just prep and they set up the actual scene when I was there yesterday. But we have another angle of the same road and then a more aerial shot of the same block of road. And then we have another angle of the same area. Now this is not the actual road that they were filming, but it's pretty close to it. But there was an alleyway that we can see right here where there was also cars parked. I was able to capture a few pictures of this place from the other direction when I was there. So we can see the alleyway. Not a lot, but pretty cool. I mean, this is a standard scene that takes you right to the game because there is a lot of moments in the game, particularly when they're in either Pittsburgh or when they're in the quarantine zone at the start where it matches this sort of area. So that's pretty awesome. And then there was another kind of set that they were building. I don't know what this is going to be used for, but this was still in progress. It wasn't done, but there was some sort of structure that was being built. The alleyway that I talked about is right around the corner as well. 
and here's another picture that I took where they're doing something in the background all the way in the background not sure what they're doing but there was a lot of people walking back and forth into that area and it looked like they were carrying a lot of props so there's definitely some things going on back there but it was obviously blocked off so we couldn't see what was going on zoomed in picture of that area right here obviously we do see the standard grimy dirty vehicles that are supposed to give it an apocalyptic feel but other than that there isn't much the only thing i do want to mention is obviously there's blue screens so they're going to be doing some sort of cgi in post for this area to make it look like something maybe make it look like it was damaged like from an explosion or to possibly kind of add in some vines and grime and dirt and stuff like that to the building and then we have another picture from a different angle with these pictures out of the way let's go back to that block of road that i was talking about so when i went there yesterday it looked quite different than what we saw earlier and it was actually filled with cars like i mentioned so here we can see that it's the same block of road but there's obviously a lot more vehicles we can see the rv that i talked about in a completely different spot and we can even see some of the cars have their lights on as if they're doing some sort of filming or they're getting ready to do some sort of filming i didn't stick around too much because there was other spots that i wanted to go to before they wrapped up filming and everything because i did know that they're gonna do more filming in another spot which we're gonna talk about in a little bit so i didn't stay too long but the other thing I do want to mention is that there's no security on this side, but there was a lot of security on the other side. I couldn't even capture one photo on the other side because there was a lot of security there. But we do see a traffic jam and we do see the same standard grimy, dirty vehicles lined up. But we do have a picture from a different angle further to the left. Obviously, we do see the bus that we saw earlier. With that said, let's talk about the second spot that I visited where they were actually doing some active filming we can see all the way in the background a lot of crew and personnel either doing some prep work setting up the vehicles or possibly setting up the cameras and things like that and if I zoom in you can see that there's some lights there some cameras there so they're obviously getting ready to do some filming and you can see there's some military vehicles the same military vehicles that we saw parked in the parking lot earlier so they're obviously using those vehicles in this particular scene and then when i moved closer to that area there was a lot of interesting stuff going on so this road is actually the road that i just showed you i was walking around to that road but when i went there obviously it was blocked off but if you pay attention, we can see that as I was going, there was a lot of people moving into that area. And some of them looked like they were possibly some military guys that were going to be in the scene because they were dressed in all military suits and everything like that. But when I did get there, obviously I couldn't do any filming or take any pictures because there were cops everywhere. There was a lot of security, but I started talking to one of the security guys and he was nice enough to let me take a few pictures and do a little bit of recording but obviously I had to keep it on the down low so I didn't capture anything too good so we can see this picture right here all the way in the back we do see the vehicles the military jeeps and things like that most of which we already saw in the parking lot like I mentioned we can see another one of the same area I tried to move in a little bit and take the picture but I couldn't obviously move that much and then we can see all the jeeps in the background we can even see the cop eating donuts that's pretty much all of the photos i mean that's all that i could take in the amount of time that i had there's another angle from those military vehicles in the background but there isn't much more that i kind of wanted to talk about here because there's not much we can see i mean it's pretty awesome to see these military vehicles in the background and them doing some prep work and moving the cars around and stuff like that but obviously we can't really make any predictions or anything like that based on these pictures the only thing that we can say is like i said earlier they're doing some sort of a big battle scene most likely that involves the fedra military in some way shape or form but with that said let's take a look at some of the recordings that i was able to capture 
during my visit. So this first one is obviously from that block of road that we saw earlier. The RV and the bus were there. So we can see that area and obviously we can see that it was blocked off and I couldn't obviously walk in and take more pictures closer to the vehicles. And here is one of the quick recordings that I did with the military vehicles in the background. We can see that the cars were moving around and everything. So they were positioning the vehicles in a particular spot to get them ready for filming. And then here's another one. We can see this guy actually walked right up to me. So I had to stop recording. But when it comes to making predictions based on these, we can't really make too many predictions. I do plan on walking to the same area again today because I do know that they're gonna be filming this weekend as well so i'm gonna be walking over there right after this video actually to see what else i can capture so stay tuned there's a possibility i might post another follow-up video later today or even tomorrow so stay tuned for that but that's pretty much everything that i wanted to talk about i hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when i upload on the channel that's it for this video see you next time for another super video Thank you.